have to do like five imaginary lines dekat dekat head of the fetus lah basically head of the fetus if one and two out of five it means it means that the fetal head is engaged inside the pelvic inlet if grade one or five or two over five if three over five until five over five it means dia tak masuk lagi dalam pelvic inlet tu kalau nak senang ingat kalau 5 over 5 tu bila palpit dia macam you can feel fetus punya head memang still atas lagi lah that is 5 over 5 4 over 5 I'm not really sure where but you just imagine like if in 3 over 5 like half of the fetal head is 3 over 5 kalau you boleh like imagine the fetus head separuh that means 2 3 over 5 that means it is still not engaged if 3 and 1 over 5 kalau 1 over 5 you dah rasa dia punya neck if 2 over 5, you will feel slightly dekat macam dia punya dagu area lah small area of the head lah that is for engagement next is the liver um, liver inside the pregnant woman um, inside the uterus will be um, it can be normal, it can be polyhydramnion or oligohydramnion macam I cakap tadi, kalau polyhydramnion maknanya the uterus size is larger than the dead uh, secondly, um, there will be kita susah nak palpit fetus tu sendiri. Next, if let's say the the, the presentation uh, to normal, longitudinal, supposedly in the normal ni kita akan rasa macam slightly boleh masuk ke dalam tau. Kalau but in only ada nyon dia akan stretch, fully stretch here and here. Means the whole thing is stretch. It's not like one area only. And then um, there will be muffled heart sound of the fetus. Um, and one more thing. Uh, oh, oh, the the positive three stress. Sorry. First, we just put one hand at one side and just press <coughs> at one side, so you can feel the the positive. positive. <laughs> <laughs> you can feel the vibration of the two inside, lah. <laughs> okay, that is for polyhydramnion. Kalau oligo oligo hydramnion ada dua je. Oligo hydramnion uterus size dia kecil daripada normal dia ataupun kita boleh palpit, kita boleh rasa fetus tu. Kita boleh I mean easily can palpit the fetus lah. Okay, that is for the and then for the weight. Okay, for the weight thing basically we have to estimate the weight lah. Estimate the fetal weight. Um dia ada macam macam kotak lah. We have to remember the the, the thing. If it's um, let's say in 28 weeks, normally it would be 1 kg. The fetus would be 1 kilogram in 28 weeks. So in subsequent weeks, I mean let's say 29 weeks, you plus another 0 0.2 kg. And so on lah, sampai the apa, uh, term lah. So basically on normally on apa, term about 3 to 3.2 kg lah. Kalau kita uh, fetus weight. Okay, that's all for palpation. And then next, um, we focus the, um, I don't know, sorry, we auscultate the fetus, we auscultate the fetus condition inside. So, um, if it says if more than 24 weeks, we use the peanut stethoscope and if less, we use the jet tone. But if anyone here, pernah practical kat Malaysia, anyone use the jet tone thing? Pernah tengok ke that tone, but I'm not really sure lah so, Basically, kalau tanya orang mana-mana yang exam Malaysia pun, they they don't use the that tone thing lah Kalau less than 24 weeks pun, basically We can auscultate normally lah After 12 weeks of pregnancy, kita dah boleh auscultate patient Tapi, yang dia cakap, between 12 to 24 Use that tone is something like ultrasound lah Like Dop Doppler sonography like that Okay, that is for Okay, that's all for objective examination. Um, but just this word, something. Uh, let's say, uh, sorry, patient, patient, patient. Sorry, 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 if you can uh, do the thing, and if you cannot, that's when the percussion comes in. Okay, always remember that. Don't like, I cannot palpate. Then what do you do next? Uh, don't know. Like, cannot like. So, the next thing you should do is percuss. If you really cannot also, uh, then you have to call specialist or else you know what to do. Lah.
So uh, this is uh, the, this is a, a single uh, pregnancy with presence of uh, one pole, uh, and then it is a longitudinal line with uh, cephalic presentation, and it is located uh, on the facing the maternal right. Okay, uh, and then it is. Uh, and then the okay then after that right then uh, engagement since it's a valid right so uh, the engagement of the head is 5 over 5 and then uh, the liquor is uh, not normal adequate and uh, and the weight estimation is 30 weeks it should be certain number lah. It should be like 2.1 point, no, 2.9 and 2.8 or 1.4 uh, okay, 1.4 and then, sorry I forgot to measure the height okay, the, the height, is that like, no, 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 stop, take a tape, measure so, the symphysis bundle height is uh, 30, is 28 cm so this corresponds to 30 weeks of gestational age uh -huh. So, an auscultation, since it's optic, right? So, I should find the anterior uh, shoulder of the fetus. So, like that, like that, like the back is here, so it should be here. So, auscultate, I mean, peanut, lah. So, uh, presence of fetal height. So, B. So, the first time I was trying to mix up the right here. So, this is it. Uh, Finish that. So it's that's if the uh, longitudinal cephalic. So, but let's say it is uh, transverse, transverse. So I should say that uh, the it is a uh, transverse line with uh, a presentation. You don't mention that, right? Because no presentation. Okay. So it should be transverse line with a uh, location of the fetus facing maternal uh, cephal sternum and uh, the uh, absence of engagement and the same as the weight uh, and the what? Lipo. Uh, lipo and the weight same thing if it's oblique I should say that if, uh, oh uh, sorry for the transverse I should say that the I can feel there's a hard balotable rounded facing the maternal uh, right and that is uh, slightly softer that means the bridge is here right the bridge is facing the maternal left lumbar. The cephalic is in right lumbar. That is if transverse. That means the back is facing where? The head is where? The bridge is where? Let's say oblique. That means the back is facing, let's say that, left maternal. And then the head is, the, cep the cephalic is in the left iliac fossa. And the bridge is in the right hypochondriac region. <laughs> Thank you, Tami. Thank you. Finger, two, I mean, one centimeter, two, slightly open, slightly open, or really open. You have to check with that, right? So you have to know that one. Uh, that's a that's a scheme, lah. Uh, that one you have to. In fact, in hospitals, they have the the chart to put in your finger, so that you can practice every time. Okay, this is three cm. This is three cm. This is two cm. You, you will know. There's a chart that you can put. There's a round round thing like kids playing, right? You can put. So that is for the dilation. For the station. Station is uh, when you put in the finger, you are supposed to feel the uh, is, 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 uh, ah. so the 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 Okay, when it's at the ischial spine, right, the level is the same, the baby's head is there, mm -hmm. it's station zero. If it's uh, belum sampai kan? Negative one, right? Ah, uh. Then, some more in, right? Negative like, it's two. not connected negative at all, it's negative two. two. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So That's what I know. From the VE, right? Negative yeah, five, zero, 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 z